Hi everyone. In this tutorial I will show you a pretty complex component that you can see in our website. Now this is a pretty amazing uh, interactive animated component that you can see what you can do with a uh, timeline for sketch. And if this is your, the first time you see it, I suggest go back to the uh, uh, beginner tutorial which shows a very simple animation. This is pretty advanced. Now let's dive into it. We have here the file and uh, it involves nested components and other tricks. So I will go directly into the big component. Notice that there are a few of them here that are nested inside. I will go into the big one and click interaction design and load it into the timeline editor. All right, and now we have here three different states. First, I want to show you how this works. Uh, if I click Run Component, then you can see this is like really nice. I can click here, and how everything comes inside, and there is a continuous animation here that runs within itself, and then the bigger component and the bigger one. So. The way that all of this works is by using um, nested components as well as timer uh, transitions. So let's see each of the things here. Uh, if I stop it, you can see that the first transition is the one where it's blank, but then there is a timer transition. If I select it, I can see here the different timelines for each of the, the elements. So these are the elements I can uh, select. If I select them here, you can see them. And each of these, they move into, if I play the transition, if I play just this transition, you can see it starts from the blank one and then each one enters. You can see the, the cascading animations right here, right? So these are these items, right? Um, let's try that again. Bad. Right, so if I do some stuff, uh, like make it, let's say, slower or stuff like that, or play with this around, you can see how that affects it. All right, I'm going to do it here. Right, and then, so once you go into this state, then you can no longer come back to this state. This is a one-way one street, buddy. So once you're in here, there's no coming back, but once you're in here, then you can switch between the I'm a designer, I'm a developer states. And how, how is this done? Well, once um, you can see that if I select the I'm a designer, you can see on the right that it already has an action attached to it, which is once you click the I'm a designer, you move to state one. So clicking here, moves here, and then if I click here, you can see that there is action that says, once you click here, move to state two. So clicking between the two uh, moves from here to here. Let's see it uh, in the works. So I'm clicking here, and I'm clicking here. And notice that there is no way for me to come back to the empty state, obviously, but, and if I click uh, outside, this will show you that you should click here. All right, and the way uh, that this works, you can see that it works by itself. Um, there, there is nothing that I need to do. And the way this works is you're using the timer. So this is inside, you can see that it has a nested, a nested component. This is a nested interactive component. And if I double click it, just like symbols in sketch, then I go into editing this nested component. And then you can see that there is a timer back and forth. And once you, once you come into this state, you move to this state and then back and forth, back and forth. Now, right, right now it's pretty linear. I wanna do it, um, I wanna do it a little bit more interesting. So let's see what this does. Oh yeah. Oh yeah, well, it's not a good idea to change 
these because uh, basically one is for these little friends and then the other is for the line. So they need they need to actually move together. But what if I if I want to select two uh, or more, I can hold down the shift key and then move them around. And then let's see what this does. Yeah. So this is now a little bit more interesting. Let's delay it a little bit. Right? So mm, delay, mm, right? And then, you know what? Let's also change the curve of one of them. Yeah, that's pretty short. You can barely see. Let's make it longer. Right, now you can see. Now you can see, if you look at closely at the middle one, you can see that it's moved, moving slow, fast, slow. Right? So now that we've edited this one, we can go back to the original uh, bigger component and then see how it looks here. So I'll click Rip Component, Run Component, and then you can see it here. Pretty cool stuff. So, you know, once I once I finish all that and it looks perfect, then I can just click export code, and this will work in the browser the same that it works here. I can put it in my landing page, and this is how it works, and this is how it looks on the website. Uh, this is, I can interact with it. It works the same as I intended and I made it in Sketch. And let's say that I have a landing page and I want to wow my users. They will think I have a team of 12 front-end engineers on my team, even though I'm just uh, one person. And I can just click Embed, copy this code, and this amazing interactive animation stateful component will be in my website and yeah so this is it let us know what you think in the comment section and thanks for watching all right bye bye